All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video is gonna be really quick. I don't even think it's gonna be like five minutes long. Anyways, we are installing the well visors for the 2023 Toyota GR Corolla. Uh, these are well, window visors, window deflectors, whatever you will call them. Uh, these were the ones I decided to go with. There are two different types. Uh, there's this one that kind of sits flush uh, along the door. And then there's another set, a different company that where like if you like install it, it kind of goes, pops out, curves, pops back down. And it gives it that like more bubbly look, but it just looks incomplete because like it leaves this weird gap between the front and rear door. That's not something I like. Anyways, uh, when you order this kit, it basically comes with two fronts, two rears, uh, an alcohol, two alcohol wipes, and some weird yellow stickers that I honestly don't even know uh, what they're there for. So basically, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the alcohol wipes, wipe down the side of the visors where they would stick, and then we'll start sticking it on. So without further ado, let's get this install started. Once you have the area wiped down with the alcohol wipe where the 3M would stick, go ahead and take off the protective foam padding that's on the hooks that's already riveted onto the visors. Uh, once you have that, just go ahead and peel a little bit uh, of each end of the 3M tape before you line it up. Once you have everything lined up, go ahead and slide the hooks into the door rail. They just kind of like loosely slide in there uh, just to give you that extra support just in case the 3M tape ever decides to like loosen up. Once you have it all lined up, go ahead and start peeling the tape and slowly apply pressure to where the tape was peeled back. Uh, that way it sticks to the door frame just nice. Peel it all the way back and then just start pushing down. And then so for the front section, the exact same process, go ahead and take off the foam padding that is protecting the hooks. Uh, peel back each end of the tape that's on the front and the rear. Line up the door hooks on where they would slide into the door rails. Uh, once that in, just kind of like snugly uh, or loosely hang it just like the back. And then uh, start to line it up and apply pressure where you need to apply pressure. Really simple guys, like this seriously just took five minutes. It took me longer to wipe down the area uh, with the alcohol wipes and wait for it to dry than it did the entire install. Uh, but yeah guys, this was really quick, really easy. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up right here uh, and then I'm gonna pull it out, park it into the sunlight and let you guys get a whole view of how it looks on the car. Okay, as one final step, you can go ahead and take some quick detailer and wipe away all your fingerprints. Uh, really quick, really easy, just something to get, you know, obviously you've been touching it, trying to apply pressure to make it stick down. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and pull this out into the sunlight. Okay, guys, so here it is. It has taken me literally a week and a half to film this outro video because it has been raining nonstop here. Uh, so I was normally going to go and film it where I normally film my outdoor videos, but you know, my driver is going to have to do this time. Hopefully, you can get a wide enough view. This is how it looks on the car, and I think they look fantastic. Like I said, there are a couple versions of these uh, one that kind of sits flush like this, uh, but it stops like right here for some reason i think that's like the bison r or like those ebay ones uh and then you had those other ones that kind of like bulge out a lot more and doesn't really flow with the body line so i think in my opinion uh these are your best bet if this is the overall look that you like uh and yeah guys what do you guys think i think it looks phenomenal uh, I think it's definitely worth the money, 60 bucks. I mean, short of being like OEM Toyotas, I think these are the closest match to what you can get for that. So I got these mainly for a couple reasons. Uh, uh, one of them is to leave my windows cracked without being visibly cracked uh, to prevent anybody from like just stopping by and throwing stuff in or trying to reach in. Uh, and the other thing is when it's cracked, sometimes it likes to rain uh, out of nowhere. So that is another thing. Uh, that if the windows are cracked and I am caught in the rain, at least this way I don't have to worry about rain getting on the interior. Uh, another reason is I plan on getting some rear window vents for the track, just like I did for the SI. Uh, and that definitely helps with a lot of wind turbulence and wind noise. Uh, so I'm definitely going to try and uh, get that done. 
uh, sometime soon. But yeah, guys, that's the window visors. I'll leave links down below where you can get your own. And until next time, later.